I'm going to show you how to uh, test this component here. Um, you might know it as a TCV, a turbo control valve, um, or sometimes a boost control valve. It, it varies uh, what people want to call it. And um, very important component though on a car. Very easy to change if you do find that it is um, it is a problem. Um, you don't have to get it just from your own manufacturer you can um, this particular one is made by Peerberg and um, and this particular part number this Peerberg part number PA6 GF30 um, it, it can be found uh, across a number of manufacturers so uh, so you can shop around and uh, and get your best deal uh, if you find that yours isn't working correctly I'm just going to be using a very very cheap but very effective um, vacuum tester which I picked up uh, for £13 from eBay very simple affair uh, you just squeeze these levers together and um, and you can test vacuum uh, you can pull a vacuum on a component that's supposed to hold vacuum uh, or in this case this is supposed to divert and therefore produce vacuum um, so you can therefore hook up this particular tester uh, onto the valve um, and and see if the valve is allowing the vacuum to be uh, produced in the correct circumstances so we'll go out to the car and uh, I'll show you how to hook it up and I'll show you how to do this test okay so on this uh, Volvo D5 the um, the turbo control valve lives here on the front of the airbox if I just give you a slightly wider view just this little unit here and it's fed vacuum from the vacuum pump just here so I'll just give you a, a, a brief um, like anatomy of, of the system so so you just it's a, it's a case of just tracing um, hoses so this bottom hose basically I trace that down and away and it goes underneath the EGR mixer and um, and then comes back out here see it just coming out here and there's a T there's a T um, junction just down in there might just see it and one half goes to um, the boost control solenoid uh, there's a video on uh, my list showing you how to clean that and then the other part of the T then goes to the vacuum pump which lives just on the uh, the edge of the engine might not be able to get the angle um, let's just give it a waggle just there so if you trace that down it then goes into the vacuum pump uh, which is um, cam driven from from the power of the engine and so the vacuum pump produces vacuum which then goes to the turbo control valve here and at low revs on this car I mean obviously the different figures for different cars you know it might vary exactly when your valve works but on this um, on this Volvo D5 up to 1000 rpm it allows vacuum to um, be produced through this pipe here and this pipe goes to a T just down here and that T feeds the um, the vacuum engine mount so you just pull this pipe off here I've had this on and off so um, it, this comes off fairly easily but do be careful because the the very thin connections and all I'm going to do is just get the hose from the vacuum tester and just put it straight onto there if it'll fit I'm using a three millimeter internal diameter hose which if I follow it up is then connected to the tester just here okay so follow it down and, and we're now connected up to the vacuum hose I'm going to put the tester on top of the engine because I'm going to start the car because it's difficult for me to film and uh, I don't want to leave the camera on the car with a with the engine running um, and what, what we're looking to do is when I start the engine 
if the uh, vacuum pump and the uh, turbo control valve is working correctly it will produce vacuum and it will register here so I'd expect this to go all the way or pretty much all the way around and hold it constant then when I and this car idles at 700 rpm so when I then increase the revs to a thousand rpm what I'm looking for then is for this to dip back down because it's a thousand rpm because the engine is stable then the vacuum is then diverted away from the mounts and it then goes completely to the boost control valve to allow uh, the turbo actuator to be um, to be moved <coughs> so uh, <coughs> so yes yeah, so I'll start the engine looking for full reading thousand revs goes back off let it idle it'll go back on full and I'll just cycle it a couple of times just to make sure the valve is working as expected okay so I'll start the engine now and there we go so that's looking absolutely fine there so what I'll do now is just increase the revs to 1000 and as I increase the revs to 1000 the vacuum will dip off there we go and then I'll let it that's it perfect so that's working exactly as I want so that's how you test your turbo control valve